Both the KO3 and the Wild Peak 84W all-terrain tires are stepping up their game, promising to take your driving experience to the next level. But how will they perform next to each other? Well, you're about to find out. Let's start things off with design. Starting with the BF Goodrich K03, it's gotten a makeover with a cleaner and a more streamlined look. The designers have cut down on the empty spaces in the thread, making it sleeker than before. They've also changed up the lugs in the middle of the tire, which no longer lock into each other like they used to do on KO2, and instead they've been improved to push water away and reduce the chances of sliding on wet roads. The edges of these lugs are sharper too, helping the tire grip the road better. Plus, they've also added some smart notches, helping the tire stay stable and stick to the road even in tough conditions. The sides of the Q3 have similar upgrades, but one thing missing this time around are the little triangular stone ejectors that used to help throw out pebbles from the grooves. Moving towards the Falcon Wild Peak 84W, this tire follows suit with a design that's pretty similar to the KO3, including the pattern on the sides and staggered shoulder blocks. But when you look closer, there are some unique touches for sure. While it keeps some of the core design elements from the older 83W, like the Z and C shaped blocks in the middle, it adds more edges and grooves to help with stopping quicker on dry roads. However, it's interesting to note that even with these changes, it doesn't necessarily beat the older version in handling wet roads better. But what about KO3? Well, let's find out. Although the Falcon Wild Beak 84W doesn't really outperform its predecessor when it comes to wet performance, it still does better compared to KO3, and that's mainly because the Wild Peak 84W offers better grooves and sibes structure. This tire comes with a better interconnected groove system and a deeper thread depth of up to 19.7 by 32 inches, enabling more efficient water expulsion from the contact surface. This reduces the workload on the sides, allowing for more effective moisture management. Moreover, the inclusion of additional biters and the Z and C shaped central blocks further augments its grip and water clearance capabilities, culminating in superior wet performance. On the other side, the BF Goodrich Q3 can't offer as much performance due to a lower silica content in its composition, which basically results in a more rigid rubber compound. This rigidity limits the flexibility of the sibes, reducing their efficiency in water absorption and lowering overall wet grip. In terms of dry performance, the opposite happens where the BFG K3 takes the upper hand, providing superior braking and overall handling. This is thanks to its central lugs with hook-shaped design and compact shoulders providing better bite and traction in both linear and lateral directions. Moreover, the tire also has the advantage of lighter weight and a stiffer rubber compound. With stiffer rubber, the tire basically minimizes the flexing of the lugs on the thread, facilitating a more immediate response to steering inputs. And with comparatively lighter build, it also keeps its momentum lower, meaning it doesn't need as much effort to stop or turn, providing a better balance between under and over steering. The Wild Beak 84W on the other hand although provides good enough biting edges too, its heavier weight lowers down its overall dry performance, particularly affecting its steering responsiveness and with it overall handling. Just like their predecessors, both tires come with the Three Peak Mountain Snowflake ratings, yet these don't really meet up with your expectations, where there's not much improvement overall over their previous models. But comparing both the BF Goodrich K3 and the Falcon Wild Peak 84W, you get some interesting results where the K3 provides better performance on powdery snow and Wild Peak takes the upper hand on packed up and slightly more slippery surfaces. The K3 tire's superior snow performance is attributed to its ability to provide a better snow to snow contact, which of course is a crucial factor since snow sticks more effectively to itself than to rubber. 
this basically comes from the hook-shaped interlocking lug design, which is better adapted at capturing snow particles, thereby providing enhanced traction on soft snow. Conversely, the Wild P84W's advantage stems from its advanced siping design and sophisticated biters, which offer slightly better micro-level biting action necessary for improved traction on slicker and packed-up snowy surfaces. Threat longevity and fuel efficiency are influenced by a combination of factors including the tire's weight, the composition of the rubber, and the depth of the thread. Now, out of both tires, the BF Goodrich Q3 is noted for its slightly superior fuel economy attributed to its relatively lighter construction across various sizes. This lighter weight combined with an optimized contact patch that evenly distributes weight leads to a lower rolling resistance and, as a result, enhanced fuel economy. On the other hand, the heavier Wild P84W, although can't offer similar fuel economy, the tire actually does better in terms of thread life. This is due to its greater thread depth and lugs having better reinforced foundations underneath. Both of these factors ensure a slower wearing rate and so the tire takes longer to reach down to 2 by 32 inches which is of course the legal thread depth limit in the US. Off-road, there are three main train types to consider, rocks, sand, and mud. And considering all of them brings out some mixed bag of results for these two tires here. When it comes to rocks, both tires perform great, making it very difficult to distinguish a clear front runner. The Falcon Wild P84W incorporates notches that extend in multiple directions, while the Q3 features interlocking lugs ensuring just as comprehensive grip from various angles. Additionally, both tires come with durable 3-ply sidewalls and thick sidewall lugs that flex optimally at reduced air pressures, providing essential traction on all kinds of rugged rocky surfaces. When it comes to muddy trains, both tires with their closed shoulder lugs encounter challenges, particularly during lateral movements. However, the Wild P84W slightly edges out with its more open groove structure and a deeper thread depth. Both of these enhance the tire's self-cleaning capabilities and with it, mud performance. The Q3, despite its hook-shaped central lugs that tend to retain mud, compensates with serrated edges and sidewall lugs that improve its mud scooping capabilities. But yes, compared to the Wild P84W, the tire still lacks in overall mud performance. Sand is where both tires again are pretty much neck and neck, providing similar results where the Wild P84W has the advantage of superior contact patch and K3 with its lighter design. So yes, it's the tie for both these tires here. What do you think? Do let me know in the comments below. And please don't forget to subscribe. Till next time.